Good evening everybody. Welcome to Turning Sufi Pottery. Uh, today uh, I got uh, this book that I ordered a few weeks ago. It's called Mastering Cone Six Glazes and it's um, pretty much the uh, glaze bible for potters. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier but I bought a lot of uh, finished ready-made glazes. Um, uh, I've probably spent six or seven thousand crowns, maybe more, on, on them, but I, I'm not too happy with any of them. And um, also, I don't know what's in them. Uh, so uh, I want to try to make my own glazes. Uh, this is going to be a long term project because it's very difficult. Uh, it's like a whole new. I have to get a science degree in glazes, basically, um, more or less. Uh, but I'm going to start that journey now, uh, try to make my own glazes, and um, uh, hopefully I can find a glaze that um, works better, that looks nicer, that is more durable, more stable, and, uh, and, and, and that I know is more or less completely safe to drink from. Um, <clears throat> so that's, I started the reading today um, and it's very interesting I mean it's a whole new universe of knowledge um, so uh, I'll keep you posted uh, updated on what's going on with this uh, these tankards that I put the handles on yesterday are now almost dry and, and I made five of them and mm, at least three or four are, are pretty nice that I'm pretty happy with um, so I enjoy those. The other day, maybe three days ago, I <clears throat> turned uh, these large soup bowls and uh, now I'm going to trim them. Uh, and uh, then probably I will fire up a bisque kiln uh, and then get to, to do some glazing. We'll see. Uh, tomorrow, uh, by the weather report, it's supposedly going to be sunny and not too cold, maybe 13 degrees Celsius. And uh, if I uh, am up to it, I'm uh, planning to take the video camera out with me to my favorite forest, uh, the forest around the lake called Murtsjön in uh, Täby. And, uh, I draw a lot of inspiration from this forest, both in photography and pottery. Uh, so I'm going to uh, see if uh, it will be an interesting video uh, examining the forest. I hope it's going to be nice weather and I hope I'm up for it tomorrow. Um, other than that, um, some people complain that my videos are too long. Some people com complain that my videos are too short. And some people don't complain, they think they're just fine. Uh, so uh, what to do? Who to please? It would be like the story of the father and his son, young son, and his donkey. They were um, out walking from village to village. And uh, first of all, uh, the uh, father was riding on the donkey and uh, the kid his son was walking by next to it and they came to a village and the village people said how dare you, you grown up man, you sitting on the donkey whilst, whilst your little son has to walk next to it. So then they switched and, uh, and the uh, kid got up on the donkey and the next village they came to they said oh what a, what a spoiled little kid you have, let him ride on the donkey, him youthful and strong and let you old man walk by next to it and uh, so they 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 decided to um, uh, carry the donkey instead and and they come to the next village and they said what an idiot carrying a donkey well when they have a donkey they carry it instead of sitting on it so you can't please everybody that's the i guess the the moral of the story uh, i find though that in these youtube facebook instagram What's up, internet days that we are all belong to nowadays. 
uh, everything is so quick everything is so fast there is not much time for contemplation or to dig into something with the whole soul uh, so I probably lean towards longer videos uh, than shorter I don't know that's just me um, let's get to it uh, it won't be a very long video today I think because I'm going to continue reading in this book all right As you might have noticed, if you have seen a few of these videos, you will find that pottery making is quite repeti repetitious work. So you see me doing the same things all over and over again. That is the way it is.
Oops. Got stuck and deformed. Let's see if I can fix this. Without cracking. I think when this is kiln fired, it will regain this deformity, unfortunately.
Well, uh, that's it for tonight. Um, now trimmed um, five of these soup bowls or general purpose bowls or whatever you want to use them for. And uh, they turned out okay. Actually, I like some of them. A bit disformed here and there, but uh, <clears throat> who is not? Um, all right. I hope that uh, you have a good evening and um, please comment in my videos if you want uh, have any questions or if you want me to do any specific type of pottery. I would uh, like that. All right. Take care. Salam alaikum.